Okay. Tennessee hired Tim Banks, Penn State co-defense coordinator. Tim Banks has been around, my friend. Uh, he, let's see, he was the, he was either defensive coordinator or co-defensive coordinator at Illinois, Cincinnati, Central Michigan, 25-year coaching career. Uh, he was at Maryland, Bowling Green. He was even at Memphis under uh, Tommy West way back, like, early 2000. Whew, man, yeah. that was a long time ago. He is, he's been there for five seasons. Brent Pry has served as Penn State's defensive coordinator since, since 2014. Um, e- even this season, when they were not great, they still finished in the top half of the Big Ten in all of the major defensive statistical categories. They were second in pass defense this year. Um, he's gotten some pretty big names, and, and though a lot of guys kind of publicly turned down this job, this he was like their fifth or sixth choice, you know, if you if you believe reports. And if if this hire ends up working, none of that's going to matter. It's like the LSU no. defense coordinator thing, man. It, it none of it'll matter, right? That's right. I mean, no, hundred percent. No, I, I like this hire. I think this guy's good. Listen, yeah. Penn State's defense. Penn State's defense is the reason they have been on the map lately, and they've pulled some big time, big time recruits. And I think Penn State is a better job than Tennessee, but I'm telling you, Knoxville is a much better, easier place to recruit to. If you're looking at location, 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 where a kid has to come live for three years and play football, telling you, man, if you want to be a star, I'd rather be a star in Knoxville than in a place called State College. (laughs) And that's not a knock on State College. It's a beautiful area. It's just a small college town. It's two hours away from the, maybe further than two hours from the the closest, like, big airport. But I'm biased. I've been open about this. I, my favorite place in our country to just go relax and hang out at is the Smoky Mountains. I like mountains, but I don't want them rough and wreck it like the, uh, you know, rigid like the Rockies. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I so want easy right. going, you know, brewing some moonshine and, and, and that's it. Yeah. I, I do think like, obviously the three hour radius, a six hour radius around Knoxville is just Chock full of talent, man. Like well, yeah, there's, yeah. there's a lot of talent around. I think this Knoxville. guy's a good recruiter. They've landed some big time defensive guys, and those defenses have been pretty good at Penn State. Hey, Ryan McCracken said uh, Chris needs to come to South Dakota. Uh, apparently, with the moonshine and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, Damien said any school is better than Tennessee. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about the school part of it. Uh, the football program has been in the dumps, but I mean, if they can wake this thing up, if Hypo is okay. Oh, never mind. He said San Diego. Chris needs to come to San Diego. Well, yeah, oh, Chris hell been to San yeah. Diego. No, I've yeah. been very open about that now. I, I just can't afford, like, okay. Do I like San Diego better than I like the Smokies? Yes, that is paradise. It's also like three times more expensive to go hang out in San Diego. Yes, very much so. McKinnon jumps in. Hell, Chris, I can get you some good old Ozark Mountain moonshine. Down with that. Uh, McKinnon jumped in, by the way. Uh, he said... Uh, Kansas City would be phenomenal for Miller. He also brought that up for Watt. Uh, he's the vet they need in the linebacking core, and being around Andy in that atmosphere to get him away from all the tomfoolery. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, those guys, I, any any Stark, yeah, I think Kansas City is a good landing spot for him, but that's, that's also guys, I mean, it's just ring chasing. I mean, I want to play with Patrick Mahomes too because that guy is, is a cheat code, and, you know, he's – He's going to give you the best opportunity to go get you a ring. Yep. So if you're more worried about that than you are dollars, uh, for sure. Knock that out. Uh, Casey asked if Tennessee's O-line is staying intact. He said if they recruit a nice running back, they could be interesting. I don't think it's just that. I mean, they got to figure out the quarterback position. They got to, I mean, yep. Tennessee's got a lot of a lot of issues that they got to figure out. They got out. a lot of issues. They got to work. So, it's going to take a minute. Yep. It college will. football is not a place where you can just usually go big time college football. It's smaller levels, you go in one good recruiting class, and and in a year you can you can kind of flip a script. Um, but yeah. but it, it's rare that you know that that happens when you're going up against Georgia, Florida, Alabama every year. Uh, Brown Yeti said, "Who wants to go get killed by Ohio State when you can go get killed by Alabama instead?" I. I guess. I mean, it, you know, I, I, don't know I, I still Penn think Penn State got killed by Ohio State much. No, while they he didn't. Was there, they didn't. They, they. That's a gross exaggeration. Firm. And there were yeah. a couple of those years where Tennessee didn't get killed by Alabama either. Oh yeah. Last year, two years ago in particular, Gary watching the game while we were in Chicago, and I'm checking scores. Oh, and I'm yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. whoa, it whoa, was a, yeah, that was a close ball game. It's oh. a, look had had Jarrett Garantano 
not, not uh, decided to. The fo- yeah. Yeah. Run had, the ball. Not fumble the football in the end zone that they take back 90 something. Like, yeah. That would have cut a, it to a, a seven point lead. Yeah. So, you know? so being killed is just a, you know, that's something. It's easy to shit on Tennessee. Okay. Yes. It's a real, it's low hanging fruit, guys. You're better than that. You're better than that. They're not a good program. That's no. okay. It's okay to say that. But to no, think you're the worst right. program ever, you know, that's crazy. Um, 